Hey book friends, we're back at it again with the makeshift tripod. I recently finished reading King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. This is the first book in the King of Scars duology, and it's the third series in the Grishaverse. This book follows Nikolai and Zoya from Shadow and Bone, and Nina from Six of Crows. To preface this, I'm obsessed with Lee Bardugo in the Grishaverse. I really love Six of Crows, and I really liked Ruin and Rising. I did not think Nikolai's character ha was finished. He didn't have a completed arc. So to have this spinoff was nice, and I really like seeing Nina again. I love this world, and I love the characters. I love seeing the Shadow and Bone characters again, but I feel like the plot was a bit lacking. It felt like she could have thought of something a bit more original for this series and focus more on the conflict between Rafka and Theoda. I think should have been more at the forefront rather than some other things that happened that was kind of frustrating for me. But I did give this book four stars because although the plot is frustrating, I love the characters and I love reading about this world. <laughs> I really liked hearing from Zoya, learning more about her backstory and getting more insights into who she is. She reminds me of Isabel Lightwood from The Little Instruments. But I'm not like crazy about Nikolai like a lot of people are. I was most excited to read about Nina. Nina's one of my favorite Six of Crows characters. I was surprised that she wasn't in Rafka with the other characters. She was on a mission in Athirda and that storyline was interesting but it felt oddly placed. Like I felt like I was reading a different book when I was with Nina. Like, why is this even in this book? It feels like a different book. That kind of killed the pacing for me because I didn't really understand why they were mushed together. I feel like that should have been a separate book, but the references to the Six of Crows characters, Matthias in particular, were very emotional. I was a bit disappointed there wasn't a Jenya point of view because Jenya was my favorite Shadow and Bone character. I did love seeing her. I want to say I kind of did enjoy the character Isaac and his little romance he had going on there. It was, it was fun. Um... Yeah, I can't really say much more without spoiling it. I definitely do recommend it if you like Shadow and Bone and Six of Crows. Was it the best? No, but I did have fun.